Hello my friends, it's Shannon today coming to you with a layout, idea, plan, what have you for Shimmers Paints Design Team. And I'm gonna base my colors on this toy that I got my husband for Father's Day. I've got some black, some really nice orangey, orangey colors, mm -hmm. as well as blue. And it's gonna take me a minute till I can find my orange color, but I will definitely get there. And I think, I think it'll end up being the bee's knees. Now my background paper already has clear gesso on it, which I do those in batches. I do them in batches of 10 when I do my gesso because if I already have this stuff out, I'm just gonna go for it. Now guys, do you see that I'm not shaking up my bottles? I'm just rolling them between my hands because I don't wanna get any Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I don't want to get any of the uh, sparkly bits, any of the pigment caught up in the nozzle. Although, I mean, you can always clean it out. It's not a big deal. So since I have my background gessoed, I can be pretty liberal with this and I can add water to it and it's just gonna lay on top of the paper. If I did not have gesso, it would soak right in immediately. So you see here, I'm starting to add water. And my black will end up being a little too heavy for me, but because I have the gesso there, I will be able to dab it off as I wish. I'm gonna start just letting my, my colors flow a little bit and see how I feel about them. It's rather fun, quite frankly. So after I do this part, the fun bits with all of the mixed media, I will end up letting it dry overnight and I mean, pretty much because I had the time. Usually I'm just so impatient. I wanna get right to my projects. Oh, and before I go much further, I'm gonna tell you all of the uh, Shimmers products I use. I'm gonna use a Colorings in Night Moves. That's that really black black. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to use a Colorings in Mandarin Mai Tai, Vibes in Jenny B Blue, Vibes in Mango Tango, Vibes in Sunset Strip, as well as the vibes in blue jeans. And I do end up, you don't see Mango Tango yet. I'm gonna end up doing that off camera. And that's because my orangey tones that I did use, I needed just a little bit more of a reddish tone to come in to give me that like red orange that was in my photo. So yeah, you see that I'm just like letting the colors bleed and using my fingers and bringing it kind of here, there, and everywhere. Mm. So here you're gonna see, I'm gonna go ahead and mop up a little bit of that black that is in the center because I decided I wanted it to be a bit more subtle. And because I did use a gesso, it is coming up rather nicely. I do mm. want some depth, and I also like the lines that paper towel can, can leave there so it'll all work mm. out to my liking. Next, I'm gonna add some splatty bits in the same colors so that I can get a little bit of depth here and there. And mm -hmm. and like I said, I will also go ahead and add in a, a deeper reddish orange tone up where it looks almost like a mac and cheese yellow up at the top. And it ends up being rather spot on. I was quite mm -hmm. proud of myself. Okie dokie. So, I needed this area right here to orange up a bit because my the photo of my husband's truck, although it is actually green in the box, but we're going with the photo. It has a lot more of an orange. So all I did is added just a little tiny bit of Mango Tango in with my Sunset Strip and Mandarin Mai Tai and got the perfect tone. I have one colorings and two vibes that I used. So if you look at my handy dandy yellowy bit, I've got a little bit of shimmer. This right here, I did use this colorings in Night Moves and I didn't want it as black. So I just dabbed it up a little bit and I have the perfect gray. And then we have this gorgeous blue right here, which is blue jeans and a little bit of variation right here with Jenny B Blue because I love it. So I have a big old mess of great sprays I used and I am not sorry to say I love them all together. Didn't know I wanted them together but I do. So I let this dry for the weekend because you know we had things going on 
And I started thinking about it. I'm like, what collection can I pull in that I like with it? And it turns out that Amy Tan's Brave and Bold is just the ticket. There's orangey tones, there's blue tones, there's a couple of different colors of blue tones, and that's great. And I spent yet more time thinking about it, probably way too much, and I decided I wanted some kind of a diagonal design with these colors. So I'm just gonna cut strips, and I don't want them to be necessarily the same size. I just wanna cut them and scuff them because they, it was reminding me of like roads. And this little guy goes over 60 miles an hour very fast, on, not this guy, this guy you know, on roads, tracks, whatever. So I thought I would play up that idea as much as I can. So give me a minute. Okie dokie. So I needed this area right here to orange up a bit because my, the photo of my husband's truck, although it is actually green in the box, but we're going with the photo. It has a lot more of an orange. So all I did is added just a little tiny bit of mango tango in with my sunset strip and Mandarin Mai Tai and got the perfect tone. I have one colorings and two vibes that I used. So if you look at my handy dandy yellowy bit, I've got a little bit of shimmer. This right here, I did use this colorings in Night Moves and I didn't want it as black. So I just dabbed it up a little bit and I have the perfect gray. And then we have this gorgeous blue right here, which is blue jeans and a little bit of variation right here with Jenny B Blue because I love it. So I have a big old mess of great sprays I used and I am not sorry to say I love them all together. Didn't know I wanted them together, but I do. So I let this dry for the weekend because, you know, we had things going on and I started thinking about it. I'm like, what collection can I pull in that I like with it? And it turns out that Amy Tan's Brave and Bold is just the ticket. There's orangey tones, there's blue tones, there's a couple of different colors of blue tones, and that's great. And I spent yet more time thinking about it, probably way too much, and I decided I wanted some kind of a diagonal design with these colors. So I'm just gonna cut strips and I don't want them to be necessarily the same size. I just want to cut them and scuff them because they, it was reminding me of like roads. And this little guy goes over 60 miles an hour very fast. On, not this guy, this guy, you know, on roads, tracks, whatever. So I thought I would play up that idea as much as I can. So give me a minute. So I wanted to check in. What I have done so far is... My mixed media bits, I went ahead and cut on a diagonal. They are not perfectly spaced. They are not measured off. They're just cut. And then I scuffed up the edges with my new scufferator, which is like everybody's had one of these forever. I just have not. I'm pretty fancy now. I went ahead and matted my photo with, I did three scraps and then this black piece at the back was just from the six by eight pad because I wanted something a little bit deeper, which brings out what my husband is wearing. These journaling spots right here are from the pattern paper piece that I don't have the name of any longer. I've been using and using it. This is like the best like journaling spot designed paper, I think, that has come out. Very pleased with it. So now what I want to do is I was thinking, okay, I want a really bold title because I have a lot going on here, right? So I think I'm going to just bring in this You Rock right here by Chamel. The colors are good. I mean, it could be slightly better, but the colors are good. And then I also have some of these puffy bits in these stars and some of the other colors are really, really working. And I guess I could do green. I do love green and the car truly is green. I don't know. So I can either do awesome Father's Day or you rock and then do, you know, in the journaling, do something about Father's Day present. So I do like the you rock though. So I'm going to bring these in and then I'm going to just be decorating the rest up with some of the die cuts that I took out thinking that they would work. <sighs> It's very humid in my craft room today for some reason, and I'm all like trying to get enough air. Eh. 
Anywho, so I am going to keep playing with this, but I thought I would give you an update on where I'm going with it. And I love how the stripes are adding all of this texture and dimension. I do have to tack it down right here though with some liquid glue because my pieces of um, background paper, you know, are gessoed and all that kind of thing. So hold it down, just gotta hold it down and I'm gonna decorate it up and I'll be back when we're towards the end. So let's finish this up. I've been layering goodies and I have these really great Chamel shiny puffies and I want to start sprinkling some of the shine here and there. So we've got the hubby layout. Oh, and I did just really simple journaling. Happy Father's Day and the year, which is kind of my vibe for journaling. Let's start with a rather large puffy star up top with the thought that I'm bringing things down on the diagonal, but I'm getting the, those shiny bits that I love so much. My poor little glue got all stopped up, but we did some surgery on it and it's feeling much better. Just, you know, so we're all aware. First time it ever got stopped up though. That's not bad. I just had to rinse it under a little bit of water. Not a biggie. Okay. So now we have this coming down. And I'm moving my layout here, there, and everywhere because, you know, it's happening. So we also have some of this green. And I have such a thing for, like, pea green and lime green. Let me see about putting a couple of the stars in in these tones. I love that some of these colors are being represented, you know, across different collections that are from different eras. So that is awesome. And the mid-tone blues and greens are fab for this type of a layout. I was going to say masculine, but, you know, I use all colors and everything. I just don't get that worried about it. Anyway, I kind of like the idea of the arrow coming out of that puffy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, I have one more of those stars in that tone, so that will be fun. So the only other thing I have to do on this is I'm going to be, and I'm just kind of tucking and hiding my little stars and whatnot. I, I like to layer and tuck if I can. The only other thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of splatty bits with some of my same colors. I'm gonna to have to do a mix a mix -a of these two colors to get that the orange that is in my photo, but it comes out really, really well. Do a little splatty bits here, there, and everywhere, and it'll bring all the muckiness together, which, you know, is kind of fun. All right, so I do have a little bit of these cute little, ah, I just dropped the top of my glue, never to be found again under my desk. Oh, the suffering. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of these lighter colored pink circly bits on. It's kind of like my last enamel, or, you know, like the idea of it being an enamel dot. Yes, I'm fully aware it's not an enamel dot. We know. Oh, and I also want to see if I have any flare that work. All right, there's one more good little pink bit. So that will be my idea for my enamel dot. So I have one there, one there. Do I want to put it there? It's like so like directly across that it's like, yeah, yeah. It wants to go on. It does. It doesn't want to go there. I think way down here. I'm going to look for my flare, do my splatty bits, and I'll come back and show you my finished layout. Okay, I have finished up. Just did a little bit of splatty bits, which are still drying, in orange and blue to bring those new fresh pieces together just a little bit more. So it's kind of fun because I have a diagonal going this way while I have a diagonal going that way. A little quirky, but I like it. So let me show you once again all of my fabulous shimmers colors right here. And you guys, remember when you place your order, put my name in the comments. Just put Shannon in the comments and you will get yourself. Oh gosh, I use so many. I have like a pyramid. You will get yourself a freebie. All right, so that is it for today. I'll put a couple still shots uh, in this video and I'll be back ever so soon, friends. Ah! <laughs> Bye guys.